morning friends please go through this quite a it's slow silent to remind and when the bugger calls they shall rise and run away how many of you know india how many of you know pakistan and how many of you know china well how many of you know siachen yes i am c h e n how many of you know siachen yes at least how many of you know what are the specialities that are they, there on jan 26 republic day independence day australia okay and how many of you know importance of jan 15 that it is siachen it is a glacier it was revealed on 26 jan by our government This is the glacier which is located 35 degrees north and 76.9 degrees east in the east circum of Himalayas. There, the sun doesn't sustain life, but the kerosene does. The bullet doesn't kill, but the cold does. So, friends, I would like to mention that in this glacier, the temperature is around minus 50 degrees. all along the year the person definitely freezes if he is not taking any preventions over the glacier and if if we question that does any life could exist there and if that life must be a human being obviously by seeing the circumstances we can say no for example if we question ourselves if we want to live there then we must construct an igloo to live over there and to be mentioned we can't find any water there we can't find any fields there and we can't find any food sources there then how can we live do you still think that some people could survive there yes absolutely yes there are some real heroes who are all living in that glacier since 30 years those heroes are none other than our soldiers our indian army I question you one thing. How many of you know China, Pakistan, and India? You know that these these three countries, but you don't know that our soldiers are staying there since 30 years and saving our country from those borders, Pakistan and China. This is the glacier where at the heights our Indian soldiers are staying, and this is the glacier where at the lower part our Pakistan soldiers are staying. So we can't go down, and they can't come up. Whatever the things which, which will happen among these two, definitely there must be a war. In these hard situations, and leave it aside about their about their hard times, then let me check how they are surviving there. See, they will have bath for every one month. If they want to drink water, they must have to melt that ice, and they have to drink it. If they want some food, if they carry some apples or oranges or potatoes to that glacier. then you can't even break them with the help of a hammer so for that every day they must get the food 21000 feet high in order to feed them and for trucking you know how hard it is right so facing all those hurdles our soldiers are staying there for whom for you and for me then uh, though they are facing all these things what are they doing we can mention how courageous they are if you want to if you really want to question <coughs> so many mountaineers are going to himalayas they are all staying over there what is the speciality in them there are many specialties one among them is facing all those hurdles they have to build the igloos for every 3 months as the range of the snow covers the igloos doing all those things protecting our nation from that again they have created a mystery in the world they have made they have built the world's highest helipad which is 21000 high from the sea level this is the record made by our indian soldiers and a blows for them and then okay thank you if you could observe this here are some dead bodies and here is a pistol this means since the past 30 years 846 soldiers have given up the, their life in order to save you and me if you never feel regret about your life then please do watch indian army and see at you
then if you if you will question that as our soldiers are suffering these many things what we are being, doing at the top of the altitude our soldiers are suffering but in this land do you know what our economists are thinking why do why do spend much, much amount of money on defense if we we'll spend the same amount on our country we could easily develop it no but no one is self realizing that as the as our soldiers are sacrificing their sleep their food their back even their breath we are sleeping here safely we are living here safely so friends remembering all those who has given up their lives for us now we can't be as a soldier hearing all this at least being as an engineer let me invent something let me do something for the fabric of our soldiers so that it means that we are doing something to our nation so finally friends though these many hurdles are there nabo the siachen glacier on nabo faced lack of volunteers in that glacier so really i feel proud to be an indian and proud to be uh, a fan for the real heroes and i ask you all along with me to salute the real heroes for their hard work thank you thank you so much you know mother